Let's find the derivative of e to the xy using implicit differentiation. To begin, we'll write the equation y equals e to the xy. Then what we're trying to do is find dy dx. So let's take the derivative of both sides with respect to x. If we take the derivative on the left, we'll have dy dx. On the right, we'll have the derivative of e to the xy with respect to x. Now, you have to understand this is a composite function. It's e to the power of a product xy. So to take the derivative of e to the xy with respect to x, we need to use the chain rule. The outside function is e to a thing, and the derivative of e to a thing is just e to that thing. But then, because that thing, xy, is a function, we need to multiply by its derivative. Now, the derivative of xy requires us to use the product rule because we have x times y, and y is an implicit function of x. The product rule is f prime g plus g prime f. Now, in this case, f prime is the derivative of x, which is one, and g is just y. Then we add g prime f. G is y, so g prime is just the derivative of y, which is dy dx. And then we multiply that by f, which in this case is x, and there we go. So now we have dy dx equals this expression on the right, which I've written here. Let's go ahead and distribute the e to the xy through these parentheses. That's going to give us y times e to the xy plus x e to the xy dy dx. Now we want to collect all of our dy dx's on one side of the equation so that we can factor. Let's move this term over to the left. So we'll subtract x e to the xy dy dx from both sides of the equation. Doing that subtraction gets us here. Then we can factor a dy dx out of both terms on the left side of the equation. That gives us dy dx multiplied by 1 minus x e to the xy. On the right side of the equation, we still have y e to the xy. And finally, to get our final answer solving for dy dx, we just divide both sides by 1 minus x e to the xy. And there we have it. One more time in the last few steps, we just factored dy dx out of both terms here on the left, which left us with 1 minus x e to the xy in the parentheses. Divide both sides by that, and that leaves dy dx by itself on the left, and the derivative on the right is y times e to the xy, all divided by 1 minus x e to the xy. And that's how we find the derivative of e to the xy using implicit differentiation. Let me know in the comments if you have any questions, and check out my Calculus One course and Calculus One exercises playlists in the description for more. Thanks for watching. Get an event, call myself up from instant. What's the wrong?